What's going on everyone? This is Ghost X and we have another video for you about weapons customization and builds. You might have guessed this weapon, right? Yes, it is the PDSW 528. The reason I'm making this video about it because this gun actually was buffed a few weeks ago and I was testing multiple loadouts until I got to find the best loadout for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies gameplay. We will go ahead and take it straight forward to tier 3 and the first Dark Aether of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. Feel free to jump between chapters as I divided them for you. I also want to take this opportunity and thank you all for your continuous support to the channel. You guys have been awesome. If you are watching this video and haven't checked out our Discord server, the link is in the description for you. Let us know if you need help with any gameplay or schematics drop. As always, I appreciate your likes and subs to the channel. Your support only pushes us forward and helps this junior channel progressing further and further. As we are getting closer to Black Ops 6 release date, I want to tell you that we are getting closer to work on all kinds of gaming videos, starting with gameplay videos, mission guides, easter eggs explanations, weapons customization and builds videos, and also live streaming with the viewers. Stay tuned for live stream on the day the game comes out to check out the new contents of Black Ops 6 Zombies and also other modes. We will dedicate time for campaign play multiplayer and small portion for warzone when time comes now it's time for this weapon review let's roll the clip we're gonna go ahead and put flawless crystal on this gun legendary tool mag of holding and also i melee the pack machine to keep my camo feel free to add an optic to this gun because i only have four attachments on it i did not add an optic when i did this video what I usually do before I head to tier 3, I go and do a bounty in tier 2, get a little bit of money so I can buy the perks that I want, because I like to have my perks on, especially the Deadshot Daiquiri, before I do any bounties in tier 3. In this gameplay, actually, I was lucky to find a variety of HVTs. Um, I'm starting here with the Mangler, and as you can see, the damage of this gun on this Mangler, I mean, you don't have to move, I stayed pretty much in the same spot. All the time and boom it's gone i mean it's pretty impressive very comparable to the other um you know op guns and that we had going for the second bounty which in this case was the mimic i actually had to cut the clips and kind of arrange them for you in this way starting with the mangler and then the mimic the only issue with this gun is when you put a mag of holding you get all the ammo in one mag so basically if you run out of ammo you have to get ammo because you don't have a reserve in this case However, with Mag of Holding, you get 800 rounds, so I think that's enough to kind of get you throughout uh, one HVT at a time. Moving on to the third bounty, which is in this case is the Disciple. This Disciple kind of took forever because he was like jumping everywhere, and that's one of the things that this game has been off for and for, you know, taking a Disciple as HVT is you don't get to shoot it in one spot. I mean, sometimes it happens, but most of the time, Disciples just move around and you have to chase them everywhere. What I also noticed lately, and I'm sure a lot of you have also noticed it, the fact that HVT contracts or any contracts other than sport contracts do not spawn that fast in tier 3 or don't even spawn at all. And you will have to wait for a good amount of time before you get to do any meaningful contracts. By the time they spawn, tier 3 is filled with the players who will compete with you firstly. In my opinion, checking a weapon against a disciple is a little bit tricky because if you had a deadwire ammo mod, you would kill it pretty quick and if you don't it's a matter of hit and miss this gun actually was doing pretty good tackling this disciple usually when I want to test a weapon in MWZ I back it to 3 put a napalm ammo mod on it and take it to stomp caller if I can kill it in short amount of time then I would stick with that specific gun loadout and I would use it pretty much everywhere unfortunately in this video I forgot to go to stomp caller hence I won't be showing it to you now if we can keep him in one spot over here, I think we'll get a good chance of uh, getting him and killing him with this gun. And there you go, yeah. Actually, this gun did pretty pretty good. Alright, well the next one or the last HVT is going to be the Mega. Let me tell you something, this weapon did really really well with Mega Bobination. I was able to get one more Mega HVT after this one, but for the sake of the video and the time, I did not show it. Here is the loadout for you guys. As you can see, I only have four attachments on this weapon. So if you add an optic, it won't really affect anything in the gun. Might actually have better accuracy if you don't have the dish shot die crate perk. All right, keep that laser. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
almost done and i think he's done i think we got him really really good there you go that's it piece of cake piece of cake there you go check out the reward yeah i'm not gonna use those speaking of dark ether many people i've seen these days are not willing to go dark ether solo let me tell you this if you have your weapon packed punch tree all you need to do is get some contracts in tier 2 or better in tier 3 if you can and get some essence and really just buy some perks and a few casmir grenades and you will be fine going to the dark ether solo i really recommend the first dark ether as you can get some of the best loot also, they really buffed the secret rooms in the regular sigil. They used to have weapon cases only in Elder Sigil, but lately I've noticed that the secret rooms has all wonder weapons during regular sigil runs. So might as well just check out all secret rooms and I have a video that shows all secret rooms and the channel if you can, you can go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we can see this weapon is really fast rate, a good damage and can be compared to some of the best weapons that we actually carry in Modern Warfare Zombies, namely the FR Advancer, the FJX Horus and the Ram 9. Go ahead and give it a try and let me know what you think. If you have a better loadout, I do appreciate if you could share it with us. Hope you guys find the video entertaining and useful. I will leave you with a few minutes of gameplay and I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.